All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakakwadash. I want to give double honors to Apostle Tahar and other elders and apostles that are in the spirit whose labors we have entered into. As you can see, the lesson is titled, No Turning Back. All right. So for those of us, you know, who are partakers in this ministry, you know, we received uh, a level of mercy, man. Right. You know, uh, of course, you know, it says that in the uh, book of First uh, Corinthians. All right. So like in Second Corinthians, chapter four. Second Corinthians, uh, chapter four, verse one, it says, therefore, seeing we have this ministry as we. As we have received mercy, we faint not. So we're not to faint, man. Because when you faint, you're basically uh, uh, turning your back on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. That spirit has been withdrawn from you because the Habakkuk that Holy Spirit, that's pure energy, man. That's energy. It's supposed to come into you. You're supposed to. You're supposed to quicken you, man. This this word, you know, it's supposed to quicken you because the Habakkuk gives you the understanding to be able to receive the truth, which then quickens you, man. You see what I'm saying? So the point is, you receive the level of mercy because now you understand the truth and you can repent. Now you you you've gone through all that, right? Start start actually working for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and you turn back, right? I mean, let me go ahead and read this for you. Ezekiel chapter eighteen and verse twenty-four. It says, "But when the righteous shall turn away from his righteousness and commit if iniquity, and what is righteous doing his work, man? Laboring for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai." In truth and in sincerity, man. Right? I'm gonna keep going. It says, and commit of iniquity and do it according to all the abominations that the wicked man do. So you go back to doing what your old man used to do. Right? You put that you put that old man to death, and then you and then you uh you buried him, and then, and then you digging him back up. Right? The it, it, it leaves off in a question: shall he live? So I'm gonna read it again. But when the righteous turneth away from his righteousness and commit of iniquity and doeth according to all the abominations that the that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? No, because we understand that the what the wages of sin is what death, right? All his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned. His trespass that he have trespassed, and his sin that he have sinned, and then shall I get shall he die? So the point is. If you turn back from this truth, man, it's, it's a rat, right? So, of course, this is an exhortation, right, for brothers, man, continue in the fight, man. You know, don't turn back. Don't give up because we understand what, man? We in this truth, you know? We don't want to be as those others, uh, it's like it, those other disciples, right, that walk with Yahweh Shai for a little bit, you know, and then departed from him, right? Let me get that account. I already got that queued up. Uh, John chapter 6 and verse 66, it says, For that time many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said, Yahweh shot unto the twelve, Will you also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Right? Thou hast the words of eternal life. So that's that's the spirit we're supposed to be in. We're supposed to be in the spirit of Peter. Like, where else we going to go? Ain't nothing, ain't nothing else for me out there. You know? Nothing at all. Right. This is this is this is the way to uh this is the way to life, man. I've been quickened. I've been made alive. Like it says right here, it says it is uh, verse sixty three, John six and sixty three. It is the spirit that quickened of the flesh, profit of nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. And I've been able to to receive this Holy Spirit, man. And and and, and by you know uh receiving the Holy Spirit, which is given unto me from the heavenly Father, right? Pursuing to John three and twenty seven, right? I've been able to receive and understand the word through the Holy Spirit, man, which now quickens me, man. I'm made alive. So basically, if I choose to, you know, go back unto my uh, my folly, man, what then happens is I'm putting back that old, I'm put I'm putting back on that old man, and I'm putting myself to death, man. You understand? That's 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 not it's not it's not wise. Let me go ahead and grab this in uh Second Peter two and twenty one. I believe it's 221, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. 221. Yep. Uh, yeah, let me, let me start at verse 20. It's a lot, yeah. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions, hold on, let me see. While well, they promised the liberty of the service, the whole man's overcome, the same is brought into bondage. 
Y'all start right here, verse 20. It says, For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, they are again entangled therein and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. So, how you came into this truth, you was a little jacked up. You know, you still had a little something about you. You know, you might have been in, you know, a little Christianity, you know what I'm saying? Believing in the Bible, or you know what I mean? Whatever, right? You you you, you didn't get into certain things, but now that you lead the truth, you just all the way through. You all the way through, man. Then no, then those seven demons, uh, uh, that 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 evil spirit, it come back, uh, it's coming back upon you with seven more uh, evil spirits, more wicked than itself, man. You're gonna be plagued, and that just means completion. So you're gonna be plagued with demons, man. Right. So the state of you afterwards is gonna be worse than you was when you first came into the way of righteousness, man. Right. And now we understand that what you're gonna receive many more stripes. All right, it said verse uh, 21, it says, For it had been better for them to not slack and not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. Right? But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the soul that was washed to her wallowing in the mire. So the point is, man, right? When you when you come back when you come into this truth and you purge that old man, right, and you go back and see your old wicked ways, man, it's like it's like going, it's like a dog eating his own vomit. And what happens? The dog gets sick, man. Right? It's not profitable. It's not good. You know? The the state, the state of that man is gonna be worse than, than it was before. Right? So there's nothing else out there. That this scripture right here should speak volumes, man. It should tell you it ain't nothing else out there. All right? Make it the book of Hebrews. Chapter 6 and verse uh, 6 and verse 4 says, For it is impossible for those who were once en enlightened and have, uh, and, like, and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Spirit. So you were a partaker of the Holy Spirit, man. You know, because at one point in time, you that you, you had the Holy Spirit to be able to understand these scriptures. Now, whether it was withdrawn from you or not, that's the question, you know, and, and ultimately we can see that it's withdrawn from you. If you don't have the spirit to fight anymore, man, because we have to fight the good fight of faith. And you know, you can only do that if you have the Harakakwadash, man. Right. So it says, and have tasted the good word of your house, like of the heavenly father and the powers of the world to come. All right, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son uh, of the Heavenly Father afresh to put him to an open shame. All right, so the point is by doing these things, man, it's just like putting your house shy back to death, man. Like you, you've you been a partaker of the Holy Spirit, and then you're going back to your, to your old ways, man. Let's read it in NLT. It says, For it is impossible to bring back the repentance. You, so we can't even bring these cats back to repentance. Those who were once enlightened, those who have experienced the good things of, of heaven and shared in the Holy Spirit, who have tasted the goodness of the word of, uh, of the Heavenly Father and the power of the age to come. So you, you got a little taste of it. We can't even bring cats like that back, man. It says, and who then turn away from the Heavenly Father, it is impossible Right to bring such people back to repentance by rejecting the Son of the Heavenly Father, they themselves are nailing him to the cross once again and holding him up in public shame. So it's like you, like when you reject Yahweh Shai, when you reject the Heavenly Father, it's like you're putting Yahweh Shai back to the cross, man. Like, like you yourself are nailing him to the cross. And what you think will happen to you if you do that, man? Right? Come on, man. So this is the point, man. With cats that, that turn away and they turn back, man, it, it, it ain't good. So this should this should this should strike fear into us, man. All right? This should really strike fear into us. At the fact that um when we see these things, man, you know, uh we don't we don't wanna we don't wanna be partakers in that, man. Of turning back, of falling away, right? Putting our hands to the plow and looking back, right? Hebrews chapter four, verse one, it says, let us therefore fear lest, lest a promise being left. This always trips me up how they, how they worded this, man. 
It says, let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. Any of you should seem to come short of it. All right. So the point is, look, we got to continue in uh, uh, abiding in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai's fear, man. And if it's like in the fear of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, it's like it. Right. Because where, 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 where the fear of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is, uh, 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 it, it drives away sins, man. Right. You know, we hold ourselves diligently in the, uh, uh, in the fear of the Heavenly Father. So that way, you know, us, ourselves and our households don't be overthrown. Right. And we don't want to come short, uh, you know, uh, of receiving that, that the salvation that's promised to those who endure unto the end. We want that. So this is why we abide in the fear of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Verse two, it says, for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them. Not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So the point is, they heard it, right? They endured for a little while, like the parable the sower talks about. You know, this was, no brothers, we was going into this earlier, man. I can't. No, but the fact of the matter is, you know, uh, they endured for a little while, but the cares of this world chokes them out, man. They didn't really believe, right? They heard these words, but it wasn't really mixed with faith, so it didn't profit them. You know, it, it helped them out for a little while, you know, but once, once tribulation came for the word, you know, you know, and that, that can come from, you know, many different areas, your woman, your job, you know, uh, financial uh, uh, circumstances, a lot of different things, man. Right. It says by and by he's offended, man. So the point is you, you fall out, you turn it back, you just start desiring that old life that you once had, man. That old man, you start putting it back on, meaning your mind. Right. Because the scriptures, like it says in Ephesians, you are renewed in the spirit of your mind. So if you're if you're putting on that old man, you're regressing. And, and, and the scripture says in what? Second Samuel three and one. What? Uh, um, it's like, let me grab it. King David, uh, uh, the house of David will wax stronger and stronger while the house of Saul will wax weaker and weaker. All right. I haven't pulled it in a while. Uh, Second Samuel three and one. It says now there was a long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. Right, weaker and weaker to the point of no return, to the point they fall out. You understand? And this is what we're striving not to be. Right. Let me go ahead and grab this. Second Corinthians nine and. Oh, 2 Corinthians 9, right? Nope. Second. It's 1 Corinthians 9. Oh, we down. Yep. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 26. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beat of the air. So the point is, everything we do has purpose, man. Making these videos to feed the flock. Because when we feed the flock, what are we doing? We're saying that we love Yahweh Shai. Yeah, Yahweh Shai asked Peter, says, Lovest thou me? Oh, yes, Lord, Lord I love thee. Feed my uh, feed my flock, man. Feed my sheep. So this is what I'm uh, attempt, uh, this is what I'm doing, man. I'm, I'm attempting to feed the flock, man. Right? And Yahweh Yahweh Shai sees that. And like it says in Hebrews 6 and 10, uh, um, the most high is not unrighteous to forget our work and labor of love that we have showed towards his name. Right? So that's the point, man. So he sees everything I'm doing. And these works like testify that, you know, especially doing them in truth and sincerity, man, they, you know, that's the only way to do it. That, that testifies that, you know, I, I'm in this for you. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, I'm in this for y'all. I love y'all. And you show it through your works, man, what you do. It's not what you say is what you do. All right. Verse 27, it says, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. So I make sure I do what I, I'm supposed to do, man. All right. Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. This is what I pray. It never happens, man. I pray that I endure unto the end, man. As well as you, I can and I want that. Listen, man. And that are really sincere in this truth, man. I pray that you endure unto the end. You sincere, I can and I want, man. That really, you know, wholeheartedly, you know, believe in this truth, man. Believe in Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And the things that are written in these scriptures, man. You know, I pray that you endure unto the end. All right, because that's what I'm looking for right here. I'm going to grab this. So lucky, so lucky. This is not what I'm looking for, but the point is, this is going to happen to a lot of men. Uh, I'm not going to get this one right. I was going to get Matthew 7 and 21. <laughs> that's, not what I'm, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to just grab something else real quick. 
to log in. Uh, Philippians 3 yeah, and 14. All right, cool. So uh, Philippians 3 and 14, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling uh, of Yahweh uh, and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So that's the point, man. We got to continue to press towards the high calling, man. This is a, this is the highest calling ever, man, that one could receive, right? To be a priest, to be a prophet, man, to be a teacher, right? So this is this is the point, man. Like you know, we got to continue to press forward, not 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 regress, man, not look back, right? Not fall back into the world, all right? I'm gonna grab this, you know. Of course, gotta grab this. Luke 9 and 62, it says, And Yahweh said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh. Right? So the, that's the point, man. You're not fit for the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. If you put your hand to the plow, you were once doing this work, man. Right? You were once a partaker in this ministry, but then you wanted your old life back. You wanted to, you wanted to, you wanted to uh uh be that old guy that you used to be, man, Mr. Fly Guy. Right? You don't care about feeding the flock. You know, it's easy to say, yeah, feed the flock, feed the flock, but you ain't doing it, right? If you ain't doing it, then, you know, it's like, what are you here for? If you ain't serving your house, I'm out shy, man. You were literally born in vain, man. Born in vain. That's a horrible fate, man. All right, I should have pulled out the scripture where it says that um, many more stripes to them. Ooh, yeah, I think this hit right here. Matt, uh, Luke chapter 12, verse 47. And the servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beaten. No, I don't think that's it. But it's like a precept that says, like, basically, um, the other people, you know, they were ignorant, right? Right, this is it. This is it. Luke 12 and 42, right? Let me grab that for y'all. All right, and I'm in uh, nine, so I'm real close. Luke, nine, uh, Luke twelve, and what was it again? Forty, forty-seven. Okay, Luke twelve and forty-seven. Let me get this for y'all. It says Luke twelve and forty-seven. And a servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will shall be beaten with many stripes. So you you gonna get you gonna get beaten with many stripes, and you knew the Lord's will, and you didn't prepare yourself. You weren't that prudent man that foresaw the the, the, uh, the coming evil and and hide if and hide if thyself. But you you know and how do you hide yourself? You hide yourself and you know and Yahweh 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 Shai man, All right? And how do you do that by you know partaking in his labor man, in his ministry like it says in Second Ezra chapter nine, All right? And verse seven. Where's Second Ezra? Yeah, come on, stop playing. Second Ezra 9 and 7, it says, And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Why? Why? Because you show your faith through your works. Works makes your faith perfect. How do you say you have faith and you got no works? You know, I'll show you my faith by my works, right? Like it says in the book of James. All right, it says, And, and the servant which, he, which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, so you didn't hide yourself, you didn't prepare yourself, neither did according to his will, so you didn't do according to the Heavenly Father's will, man. Shall be beaten with many stripes, so you're going to be beaten with many stripes. Verse 48, but he that knew of not, and did commit things worthy of stripes, so the point is, these cats that's walking by, that don't hearken unto the truth, they heard it, you know, John 15 and 22, they have no cloak for their sins, we understand that, but there, there's still things that they don't know, like you know it, being, being a man in the truth, and then you fell out. You know certain things. You know deeper breakdowns than some Jake on the street. You know? No, if you ask Jake, what, what, what's, what's modern day Babylon? They won't know. But you know certain things, man. All right? What does it say? It says, but he that knoweth not, it's like he that knew not and did com commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whom soever much is given, of him shall be much required. And to whom men have committed much, of him they will ask the more. So the point is, you've been you've been you've been given blessed with so much. And I'm talking about with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding about coming into this ministry, right? You know, this is this is really a high level, man. This is high level thinking. 
So you being a partaker of this ministry, uh, a partaker of the Holy Spirit at one point or another, right? And you fell out and you went back to your own vomit. You're gonna get you're gonna get more stripes than somebody out here is regular Joe Blow, who heard about the truth, and, and and really just didn't get down with it. It's gonna be worse for you, All right? So this should strike fear into us, man. To never fall away, All right? To never fall away, man. So we got to continue to pray for that, you know, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, to um, you know let us endure into the end, man. So, uh, you know, with that, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and end off there. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Harakak, All right, I want to say, uh, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Baruch, Thumb. So, you sincere, Akim, and Akwa, Shalom.